What would attract zombies more? A bunch of living people or a bunch of dead Let's people? Let's do it. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. I don't know. I'm, there's Every zombie game has like different kind of mechanics or whatever. Like, can they smell living people? Can they smell dead people? Do they like to eat both? So, basically, we're just gonna go off the road. Uh, whoa. Whoa. See, that's how... That's how sensitive the mouse thing is. I just turned it a little bit. I turned in a 360 degree circle and started going backwards or something. So it takes a lot of uh, getting used to the sensitivity of turning. <laughs> I just love stabbing people. Car part number two. I guess there's always a zombie hiding behind the, the wall and there's always an infected right there that wants to come run at you. This guy's gonna come say hi now. Come say bye, bitch, cause you're dead. Sometimes, I mean, I really like when uh, I get slow-mos, but sometimes they mess me up, like, is it slow-mo because I killed him, or? I don't know. So that's car part number three. Sometimes I have to keep count because I, I don't. Uh, I'll be doing some other quest and be like, did I get all my car parts? I'm not sure, so. For right now, I'm just counting them. Oh, that, that was awesome. I'm not sure why they lose their hair when you, uh, when you take their head off. It's like uh, it's like they go from normal zombie face to like a a fallout ghoul face. You know what I'm talking about? They are ghouls, right? That's what they're called. I think so. The radiated people. Ow! I hate it when I'm in the air and they kick me any or they hit me anyways. It's the whole point of jump kick, so they don't hurt me. So, uh, oh. oh, I was just about to say this group isn't so bad. Usually, uh, since there's so many zombies right here in one in, uh, sh short area, uh, it's usually a problem. Since I don't know, I have a. Uh, I don't know if this is how it is all the time, or it's just right now, but I'm having a hard time keeping up with all of them. Like, sometimes I don't know one is directly under me. Die. Alright. Here is the medical bag that you need. You don't have to go anywhere near the Diamond District to get that. And I don't have lock picking yet, so can't get that. need some more weapons, like, really bad. <laughs> Where was he going? He was going the opposite way. He's scared. He knows I'm gonna kill him. So, this is another detour. Just go back in here. I think there's probably a, another way, yeah, that you can, you can go back in there and I just always forget. I'm not going over there at the pool. It's a bunch of zombies I don't feel like killing right now. Ow! No! 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 Stop it! Oh damn, I'm stuck in a corner. Motherfucker, trying to kill me. Kill you first. Maybe this crowbar is not so great after all. But it's all I got. I mean, that weak diving knife that I, I've got after this is... What do we have here? It's gonna go real quick. 
so we just go in this house right here and uh, admire the majesty of the floating energy drink. Actually, I'm gonna take that because I need it. Um, is there anything? More energy drinks, please? No? Oh well. This guy took too many drugs. Even though he looks infected. I don't know. Anytime I see a drugs unit beside a body, I just automatically assume that they overdosed. <laughs> and here on the desk is excerpt number four. And that is the only thing in this house, is that one excerpt. So you have to come all the way over here just to get that. And now we can go back to doing what we were doing. Actually, I'm going to check out this bar and see if there's anything in here other than that zombie. But donk a donk. Actually, oh, okay, I do remember where this guy is. He's gonna be staying there for a little while because it won't be until way in Act 2 till I care about safe. Ow! Where the fuck? Where'd you come from? You weren't in here before. Is he like back here? I just didn't see him. Okay, on to the quest. Actually, I don't even know what quest I'm tracking, but we're gonna go um, save these people in this bungalow who need some help. There's zombies outside. Oh, I'm here, an infected. Oh, yeah, there he is. See, he does some sort of capoeira moves. I, I'm totally not saying that right. Whatever that martial arts thing is that looks like that, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, that move that they do that looks like that word I can't say uh, that's what hits you so fast when you're up against an infected it'll hit you about three times and it's not fun to be on the receiving end of it at all that bitch is kind of chunky ain't she I like a big weapon is falling apart yeah my weapon ain't doing too good <laughs> okay, I'll just no, I'll kick you to death. Yeah, take that. Take my foot up your ass. Okay, and just break in here. Oh, see, that was in the middle, in the red zone, and I got so mad that I couldn't do the rest of it. Got it in the red zone and it didn't break open the door in one try. And here by this probably dead woman is ID card number 12. Let's open this up. Uh, I realize we went from 2 to 12, but um, the rest are on the way to the Diamond District bungalows. Where I mean, I guess you're supposed to go there early, but so I don't go there till later. But we will get them, I promise. I feel dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. So, excuse me, I was taking a drink. Uh, like Stanley, this girl sure. wants water. Oh. She wants water all the time. She's never Thank not God. thirsty. No matter how much water you Thank give her. You. <laughs> what uh, and she oh, gives you, God. what, 50 XP and $70. Oh, so, water oh, isn't God. used for anything else in the game. Lost. So you might as well just give it to her and I'm get here. seventy dollars at a time and some XP. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Annie, and I'm looking for my teddy bear. I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. Will you find my teddy bear? <laughs> <laughs> She's so crazy. Absolutely. The last time I saw him, he was in our bungalow. 
Number 15, where I live with my sister Jenny. Remember, his name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, <laughs> and I'm sure he'll go with you. I'm sure he will. He's a brave teddy bear. Oh my god, this girl is crazy. So, uh, it could be a reference to, uh, the LOL character Annie, who's, who, she has a teddy bear too, and her, his name is Tibbers. But, uh, her teddy bear is just named Teddy. It's very, uh, not creative. So here is excerpt number five behind crazy Annie. And that's all that's in here. Um, the closest one is to find the necklace, so we'll go do that. After I loot that big old pile of suitcases I see over there. Okay, so after I loot all that, oh, weapon, all oh, my weapons are broken. Oh my god, I don't have anything, do I? I have this one hammer. And it's gonna have to last me until I get something else. <laughs> it's so awful. I shouldn't have sold all those weapons. I would have backup. I mean, even an ordinary paddle would be good right now. That's a lot of slim over one zombie. He just wouldn't die. But I kept critting him or whatever makes this game do slow-mo. Oh, I kind of like the, I mean, I don't know, I kind of like the sound of hammers. It's like just bone crunch. Ah, oh, it's like what it would sound like if somebody really hit you in the head with a hammer, so it's kind of satisfying, but it's also kind of just gross. So this is the Silver Bungalow District. Help me, please. Help me. Help me, please. So all you have to do to help her is uh back up this truck. Please. Whoa. That was lag, I'm sorry. I don't understand. Please. My husband. He's bleeding. Can you help us? I guess. Come closer! Name's Roger, brothers. Uh, and this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell. When I saw that broke down car, father me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. Uh, see, I this is why you should never help myself, anybody. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something, because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. You gotta believe me. I believe but you. You know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Or rabies. I don't know. Fuck. Who the hell knows? <laughs> but can you get How Jess? You get out all of here? that blood on him from hey, one if bite. I, start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. His voice sounds weird to you. I'll see what I can do. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in. Ah, so this is James's brother. We'll meet James, I guess, in just a second. Because that's where we're going. If I can loot all this alcohol. Uh, some people have problems looting alcohol. If they, um, the trick is to not hold down F, because uh, you know when you're, what's if in you're, here? My phone again. If your inventory is full, it'll ask you to hold F to pick up that weapon. Uh, it's the same with alcohol. If you hold F, it will put the alcohol in your current uh, weapon slot or whatever. So trick is to not hold F. And her necklace is right there on that cabinet and we have looted here? everything so we're free to get in the car truck lorry whatever let's go <laughs> she's twirled around oh she has like a, a beauty mark on, on her booby right there anyways enough being random Hopefully my driving won't be too bad. 
I do try to kill zombies, but it doesn't happen all the time. Because I like to take this shortcut, because it, it is impossible to, uh, to take that curve at full speed. So you have to, even though you kill a few zombies, uh, you still have to back up. Oh, my windshield broke it did. I think we got a live one. So, remember to talk to Jessica. Cause sometimes I forget and then I'll have to come back out and she's like, please still talk to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure your husband's fine. He's just fine. Can't be. I'll go get him later. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like Jesus. I look like Jesus. You better go see the James. I'm sure I'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure I'll be glad to see you still alive. Apparently, Jesus is a tiny Chinese woman. What do we have here? Oh, and I just want to point out the smoke animations are really awesome. So awesome. I don't know why I like them so much. Got little doodles in the air. Alright. Let's go talk to James. Go see it. After I get some soap. Oh shit, you're alive? I am alive. Uh, so if you don't remember, James is the guy who's standing over you next to Cinnamoy when you're kind of uh, knocked out or coming back from being bitten. I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Of course you can. Another help everybody Let's I know. Do this. Now, if you before you can continue your quest. Us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? I would also like to point out that I don't understand why there's two groups of people and like these are the more proactive people, but they're doing the same thing. They're trying to signal for help. Just in a different place. <laughs> 